I do. I don't know that it's 100% necessary. Now what I'm shooting for over here is two decent rows of garlic. Are you tired of watching this whole work yet? <laughs> it really ain't that bad in this good loose dirt. I don't even call it dirt or soil or organic matter. You call your soil. I'll call mine dirt. And you can call yours organic matter. And I'll call mine mulch. And you can call yours sandy soil. And I'll call mine organic matter. The moral of the story is this. I call it growing medium. Of course you can't eat all your seed. We've got that job done. is the protector of the farm, right? The, the protector of the woods. Garlic, oh Lord God, plenty of garlic. I've got to get down and work it. I've been doing that months. But <clears throat> you can come, I'll show you. You can come right here, like this uh, Creeping Charlie. You just be, you just be careful and uh, pull it away from your garlic start the, the water. It'll take me just a minute to get this water hose hooked back up. But we'll give that stuff a drink. We'll go turn the pump to the well on now. Best thing I ever done as far as gardening. Purposes around here was to drill them wells. Don't seem to be putting out like it should be. Maybe it is. Now right here, you can see the, the scapes coming on, the garlic scapes. So they're starting to come, I don't know if it's a zoom or not, let's see if it will, yeah. Right here, garlic scapes. So they're, uh, they're putting the scapes out. That's a treat. I love to eat them. I surely do. We've got our tomato cages sitting here ready. The tomatoes is just not ready though. 
they're real easy to harvest and they're very brittle and again these things grow quick they grow quick for years I just tossed them I'd break them and drop them no more mid spring to early summer and that's it these garlic scapes or these stems or whatever you'd want to call it on the top of these garlic plants on the top of the garlic plants is uh, something that you get in the spring uh, they're very good to eat a delicacy I guess you could call them they uh, each each plant puts one scape on it and they'll grow out and sometimes they'll curl up and the curl these is fairly straight uh, the thing of it is you want to get them off because if you don't get these off it uh, sends all the the nutrients and energy uh, to the the flower and the seeds on these so you can take these off and what that does will uh, put all the energy back keep it all down and to grow the bulb if you try these they've got a taste it's kind of a mild uh, garlicky flavor and that's nothing but a bloom a bloom and the furries, I would assume that you could uh, you could eat them uh, just like that, raw. They're not uh, they're not too strong. Well, I prefer them in butter. The good on Okay, what we're going to do today is we're gonna dig us some of this garlic. What we're gonna do, <clears throat> we're gonna remove one row at a time of this garlic. And uh, it's like I say, most of it, will it'll pop up, but that helps break them roots loose. And you can see uh, that garlic's plenty big enough to come out of there. And I'm just gonna lay it in the, I'm just gonna lay it down here and we'll let it dry but anyway you can see right in here where that's opening up right here and uh, that starts letting dirt and stuff get down around your clothes that's what I want to prevent it's like I say knock them off a little bit there I like to take it down that just that just helps, uh, yeah, this garlic's ready. It's ready to come out of there. You don't even have to knock it off. Today, you knock it off later. The first row of garlic in, out through there. One out of three. Pulled all the garlic up today going to give it a couple days to cure in the whole state of Kentucky on the weather radar map right over our head here in this area was a little green spot and don't get me wrong I'm not con I'm not complaining I was glad to get it but we got a pretty good little share of rain nothing hard but it did uh, save me from water in the garden about six hours tonight so anyway, 
we're going to try to pick some of this garlic up <coughs> and go ahead and get it tied up. I'll show you how I'm planning on doing it. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, these is bigger on this side. And then I'm just going to take this string. I'm going to go right around. Gonna go right around this way, and I'm gonna tie that good and tight right there. Uh -huh. And then leave that just a little bit lower. I'm gonna run around these five or six, bring it over, put me a knot in it. Pull her good and tight. Tie that. I'm going to go around this one again. Maybe all the way because the string's a little long. We'll cinch her down there pretty tight. And uh, it's got that. And we get that, all that garlic up. So I've got, my goodness, we're just in one little quadrant here. And there's another, oh yeah, there's plenty room to hang all this. So I've got one, two, three, four, uh, five, six, six bundles. And uh, they're anywhere between 12 to 20 in the bundle. I just hope, I think it'll be fine. Just like I say, I'll have to keep a close eye on it. What I'm worried about is those, I'm not worried about it either, is the, where they're tied. If they shrink, if them things start shrinking, uh, they, they could fall out of there. So again, what we're gonna do is we're gonna plant, uh, or pick this garlic up and get ready to plant some tomatoes and peppers and stuff like that that we've got growing in the greenhouse. Some new little plants that uh, we ordered uh, a couple different types of tomatoes and and we've got to have the space. Giving rain tomorrow, 80 something percent. So that uh, that's good news if we get it. But uh, today we're going to get this garlic cleaned up. That should finalize the garlic for a while. left this garlic out here for a few days longer but under the circumstances it's, we can't we'll wheel her around in here and head back out because that's the last of the garlic that I know of Oh, 
can see part of it anyway. These uh, pretty good size heads of garlic. Now, I had a subscriber that mentioned that we had some pretty good sized garlic and how we got it that big. Well, this is all elephant garlic. They may be a few in here that's, uh, that's not elephant garlic. And, uh, and, and that's a fact, right here they are. These right here are not elephant garlic. That's hard neck garlic. If I'm not mistaken, this was some that I had and I lost all the, my seed to it. That was some kind of uh, culinary garlic or something. It's real good. I'm glad to get those. I'll save those and plant those back. And see, I need to order me some. I thought about getting some music garlic. This garlic is elephant garlic. These little bublets, bubbles, bublets, whatever you want to call them right here. These little things right here that grow on the root, that's one good way to identify it, other than it's big. Big, big garlic. And uh, the majority of the garlic I've got, like I said, when I planted it's elephant garlic. I should have made that a little more clear. I like elephant garlic. It puts all these little bublets on it, on the root. And, and wh when you pull this up, you'll leave some of these little ends behind. And I'll assure you they will come back, so. They're pretty prolific. Okay, I'm gonna take this over that way and then we'll set up over there and, and tie these up. What I'm gonna do is that culinary garlic, if I run across any more of it, I'm gonna lay it right off to the side here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this out of the out of here. I'm just gonna lay it right here for right now. Let's say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that one is six. Ain't no need to count that. Ain't, I ain't gonna count that. I'm gonna get it out of my wagon where I can. You know where this was laying yeah, out there in the sun. I, that, that stuff was getting warm. Warm, I say. Not good. Let it lay a little while. But if it gets wet like that, that's, 
You need to be a getting her out. Need to be a getting it out. Now these I'll leave. Well, actually I'll get them out, but of the wagon here. And we'll lay these over here somewhere where they can be drying and they'll be out of the way at the same time. Yeah. They can be drying in here somewhere. We'll just start tying garlic till it's all tied. Tie it till it's all tied. There's another one. There's all kinds of bublets in here. And there'll be a lot more before it's over. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six, eight. We'll get eight. We get eight. We'll get eight and tie that right like that. Mm -hmm. And then we'll get eight more. Eight more. There's eight. And I guess I could hang them. No. Let's see, where can I put them? Anywhere. It don't matter. Right there. And scoop these back this way. And then we'll pull from here and lay them there. So I'm not gonna, I'm gonna do one more here, then I'm gonna shut that camera off. And we'll get these tied up. And uh, once we get it done, we'll turn the camera back on. I'm putting eight in these. Eight, eight, eight. What did I do? Eight and eight. Eight and eight, my friend. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. Okay, I'll turn the camera off because it's going to be repetitory. No need. No need to just keep filming the same thing over and over. I'll turn that back on because I want to show you one more thing I've discovered here. Of course, it ain't no big deal. It just might make it a little easier on somebody else's all. And of course, it's like I said, I, I'm not tied this stuff up enough to know, but 
go around that, go around this thing twice before you ever start. Twice. And then when you hook you, uh, when you pull that, you can pull that baby good and tight and it will stay good and tight. And that way you don't have to sit there and try to hold your finger on that. I'll show you again. It just makes it so much easier. Just go around it twice, and then when you put your loop in it to, t to pull it tight, when you pull that baby tight, uh, it'll stay tight. Now that I've got overlapped here, so let me let me lick my calf over here. Now, when you pull it, it, it it's like I say, it's it's there. It ain't coming. It ain't coming back loose. And that way, you don't have to sit there and twiddle around with your thumb trying to. To get that to stay on. I'll tell you what, by doing it this way it really saves space when you're drying your garlic. Because if you don't hang this like this, uh, I used to cut it, cut it, cut the tops off, leave about three or four inches, cut the roots off, lay the garlic in like bread trays, and it doesn't <laughs> It's always done well doing that. Never had a problem. Except I have on them, ouch, on them bigger ones. What was the dickens got me there? Something stung me. What was it? What was it? I don't know. Don't care. So, let's see. In order to do that. That, uh, It, 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 uh, you know, I've lost a few of the big ones. And what I got, what I got to having to do, I'm talking about on them extremely large cloves, which the cloves on some of this elephant garlic was, <laughs> it was as big as some whole heads of garlic. And when you leave those bundled up and, uh, the way I done it, and it's like I say, I left about three inches of stalk, trimmed the roots, and I had, it, oh, they was pretty white. I'd had all the dirt off of it and everything. So, uh, by doing that and, and leaving them, I noticed you'd feel of it every once in a while and you'd find a soft one. And what I think it was, it couldn't lose the moisture fast enough to, to cure. So I, what I started doing on those big ones, I got to just taking them apart and uh, taking all the cloves out and letting the cloves do the drying, you know, individually. And that stopped that rot. Uh, hoping, hoping that uh, we won't have that problem with these. But one never knows now, does he? One never knows. Two. Let's see, there's. I'd like to figure a way to. Do this where I could have these ready. I could do it like that, I guess, and that way. I wouldn't be stepping on them. Let's try it this way and see.
Eight. Hook that up and pull that out. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hook it up, pull it out of there. If I can pick it up. Ah! <sighs> Whoo! <sighs> this right here is a trick. Let's see if I can't let you hear what this sounds like. If it'll, if it'll start. If it'll start. Now, I ain't got nothing around here to show you, but I'll let you hear what this sounds like. bought this to uh, make my own mulch and believe me you can take a four before for this little chipper a four before lamb or a four before post I put a post that first thing I put through that was a four before treated post I give it its workout day one. It chewed it out and spit it out like it wasn't nothing. But those dry, that dry wood, it does so much better with uh, with green limbs, freshly cut. That's what I use around here to to chip stuff up. I'll, I'll show you. I'll just wheel right around here and show you a little pile that I chipped. And you'll see, you'll see it up there, right there. You see that pile right there kind of in the center. That pile came from that apple tree in the center. And it came from 
that apple tree right there. And it made that little pile of mulch, which is a pretty good sized pile of mulch. That's a few wheelbarrowfuls. Yep, that's it. Now, I don't know what kind of, I don't know what kind of sickness they call it when you, <laughs> when you, you're doing one thing, you can see that garlic up there had to dry down since yesterday. When you start one thing and jump up on 15 others, what do they call that? Some kind of disorder. I got it. I'll pull this out and that way I can drive in here and hang it garlic without tearing something all to pieces. Forward, my friend, not, not backwards, forward. I'll just go around, and that way I'll be ready to come back in. What I'm gonna try to put these others on there while I'm here. Why not save an extra, let's save an extra trip, an extra whatever you want to call it. And that's what I'm going to do, just like that. See if that works. Now, I'll get behind in up there. I'll be flying now, won't I? Yeah. Well, thank you, Ken. I tilted it down. I'll tilt it back up for my safety. I think that'll be better. That way when I put my weight on it, I won't uh, cut them blooms off, or them scapes off that I left because they're hanging out there in the way. Now, now my friend, I'll get up there and see what we can get done. Maybe. Let's not fall. Let's not fall, my friend. I like it. I like it. Seems to be a... Where'd that go? Right there. It seems to be a working. You know, it'd be better and simpler, smarter, to push them out that way, wouldn't it? Yeah. And that way I don't have to reach out there so far. Yeah, one more. 
Give me one more there, my friend. I hear you, Toby. Don't do no good to bark. Now. Those little tender scapes that we ate here earlier, the ones that that was this snap off, they get they get tough, boy. Like anything, I guess. They get tough. weight on this thing, but that's all right, that's all right. Okay, now, let me get down, and we'll pull up and finish that. Pretty slick. I guess you're seeing it. Oh yeah. Hush, Tobe. Up just a little more. Just a little more always. Just a little more. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> Here we go. Here we go, Baba. I hope that them gets enough air. So that's it, my friend. That's it, my friend. Yes, sir. That's a garlic harvest this year. Mm -hmm. And the remnants of the Hickory King corn.
you, buddy. And I'm gonna start right here. I'm just gonna push all this up this way. All this dirt and chaff and stuff. And then we'll reach in through there like that and take out the big stuff. And you'll see, I'll, I'll come over here and uh, tell you what, I'm going to dump this in there too. Be a lot simpler. got in here is I'll throw that out that out that's a head of garlic we'll save it these long pieces the chaff and the leaves and I'll throw that out but unless kindly well I'm not going to try to pick these out at all today and probably won't at all but I'll uh Get a little closer and I'll show you just by handling that. And that ain't a fraction of them. The little bublets of elephant garlic. Bunches of the little bublets. And uh, where's my hand? Here. And you can pick these out, and I probably will after a while. There's hundreds, hundreds of these in here. And uh, little bublets. Garlic. That grows on the roots of the... Uh, Elephant garlic. There's lots of them, lots of them. Uh, they, and they've got a pretty tough skin on them, pretty tough. Pretty tough skin. You can take that skin off if you wanted to. And I'm sure there's probably a better way to do it than what I'm doing here. You just peel that off like peeling a, a garlic clove with, except the skin on the garlic clove is hard, harder. Now these will also, but when they dry, that'll get hard, hard. Protects that, that's what it does. Seals that little booger in there. And uh, you can peel those. Right here's one that's peeled, and here's one that's not peeled. And the one that's peeled, I bet you <laughs> that you can't tell me what that tastes like. But anyway, they're a chore to, uh, would be a chore. I'm sure that if, if you probably, if you could take these and, and maybe boil them for a few minutes. I don't know. It ain't no big deal because I'm using my fingernails and my fingernails is tore off, but if you uh, had a knife, if I'd get it out of my pocket, it'd be a lot easier. But that comes off. It's not difficult, though this is a little, but you can peel that off. Very mild garlicky taste and again let me get my knife and see if it would actually make a difference I'll uh, turn this down a little bit here and let's see if that would 
make a difference. That way you can slice right in there and grab that and pull it. I wouldn't advise using a razor blade here. But yeah, you can just peel that off and you can cut it through, it comes right off. Little, little bublet. And then knowing what I'll do is uh, I'll eat it. It's not bad. Just simply more food. That's all it is. More food. So you try to grow them, and what happens is uh, they will grow. They'll sprout and come right up. But there'll be a little, little bitty blade, and it'll take a couple years. The first year, it's going to grow into a, I, I would say by the third year, you can be having full-size garlic from those bublets right there. Guarantee, guarantee, I say, guarantee. And this is the crop of garlic 2023 out of my garden back here behind the house. That's the the garlic crop and I'm going to check this just to make sure see that wind's coming through here you see how that breeze is hitting them them roots right there and, uh, these roots is already dry I mean crispy almost almost crispy feeling and uh, the dirt's dried out look at that you just touch it and that just crumbles right off that they'll do fine right here. Bublets hanging everywhere. And uh, the leaves naturally stamp, but they really wilted down. So I think if they'll if they'll hang on there and not start falling off, but I don't I think they'll be dry before that ever happens. Because when they dry down and them tops get crispy. I'll uh, I'll take them down and trim them and clean them up. But uh, I'm pleased with that. I think that'll work well. Just like I said, you can see the wind rustling through there and moving those leaves a little bit. And it, they're, it's out of the sun. So that's not going to hurt nothing. You know, it's not going to hurt them. And uh, that's where my garlic this year is going to cure at. That's it. And that will be all she wrote from the day I planted them till right now, till the day I harvested them. From October 4th to whatever today is, June, um, I don't know what it is, whether it's the 6th or what, maybe the 5th. All right, that wind keep it blowing. That'll be it. Thanks for watching.